What is going on guys? Welcome to my brand new FM18 series. This is going to be my Spanish Road to Glory story with Club Deportivo Guadalajara. I'm really, really excited to get into this challenge. A bit of a different one for me uh, in the lower leagues of Spain. I'll explain this series a little bit. Uh, well, I, Actually, this is a downloaded league. Uh, database. So yeah, make sure you go to the Steam Workshop if you want to do the same uh, to download uh, this division essentially uh, because you can't select uh, any teams in uh, this division there. It, it's named different, like that's the Tercera division. I'm not really good with the Spanish names. I'll get used to them, but uh, yeah, I'll appreciate any help in the comments. But guys, if you're excited for this series as well, let's see if we can smash 500 likes because uh, I'm uh, really excited for the prospect of this. And if you're a current subscriber of mine, if you're new, of course, make sure you su subscribe for uh, daily videos of Football Manager 2018. Uh, but this is going to be more of that playing off camera style. That's why it's going to be more a story and I'm going to tell it in that way. So hopefully you will enjoy it. I'm in the right situation to do that now. Obviously, I've got a new computer. My setup's really good so I can play through the seasons uh, pretty quick. So you will see it in that style. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, it's the fourth division. So, but it says third division. It's the fourth tier at least. So, if we go back, you can see uh, that's a group one. But then if we go into our one, we're in group eighteen, which is the last one. So it's going to be very interesting. I'll even go through. Like, if you're not really knowledgeable about it, we'll go through the rules, seeing if anything is a bit different. Like thirty-eight games. Uh, that's normal, right there. But you can see the top team wins promotion to Segunda Division B. And because there's 18 groups, it will be the same for each one. So I'm very interesting. I'm, uh, this is like so interesting to me. How is this going to pan out? Because there's 18 groups. Very, very interesting. If you know more about how it works in the lower leagues here, we're going to find it out, obviously, through the series. But that's pretty interesting as well. Because as I said, don't forget, there is 18 groups. So... It would be 18 teams going through, but that means we'll need a finish top. The Only the top team goes through, I would imagine. So that's interesting. And again, serious offense ban information. There's more specific ones. One match uh, for striking another player. That's minor. Two matches. Violet conduct. Yeah, yeah, you can get that. And 12 matches striking a match official. But I wonder if a player would do that in Football Manager. That would be very interesting. And then has wage rules and everything like that. So obviously, yeah, we need to go for the top position, finish top, and get that automatic promotion. And just so we go into that, we'll go to uh, the media prediction is second. And this is actually pretty interesting. Meter prediction is second, but then if we go into the board and then we go into the confidence and we go into the competitions, then we check out the details. The minimum expectation is avoid finishing bottom of the league. So it's, it's a bit of a difference, isn't it? What the board expect compared to the media. I suppose that means uh, we should stand a good chance of promotion in the first seat. We should have the players there at least. But I'll talk about what I did for a second. There's a couple players I sold on. Obviously, at this level, you can see the money's not magnificent. <laughs> You're not going to have players uh, worth a lot as well. And you can see the squad is huge. So you can see why I'm trying to yeah, get rid of a lot. There's a lot on amateur contracts and that, like not paying anything. So I thought, yeah, I might as well keep them for that. But yeah, guys that I could have sold for some money, even Alex Alonso, that's not much money at all. But yeah, he was on a little bit. It was like 100 and something. As you can see, he's on 130 now. But uh, yeah, probably too much lower attributes. And you can see his scout summary now, not really a recommended player, <laughs> 15. Uh, and then... Again, some of these names I'm not going to attempt to pronounce, especially if I sell them on. <laughs> but Matthias here, goalkeeper, uh, we let him go. He was one of the worst out of the five we had, and we still have four there. And keep in mind, we don't have a reserve team. We just got under 18s and or, or under 19, sorry, and no one there. So yeah, we'll just have to see. Well, like even you can see Tanaka there. I'm trying to sell on. So yeah, let me know what you would do in situ this situation. Like if you had a big squad, but keep in mind a lot of them, you can see their value zero. All of those guys are essentially like on amateur contracts. So if you go to their contract, yeah, they're not being paid anything. So I thought, yeah, we might as well keep them. I'm not going to just release them for nothing. Might as well keep them for now, unless the, until they get unhappy, you know. But next, I thought I should show you my manager, Australian 
Maltese. I'm half Maltese uh, on my dad's side of my family, and obviously uh, I've grown up. I was born in Australia, have lived in Australia my whole life. Uh, I'm 26 years old, but that's actually not my birthday. I just did that because <laughs> that's like kind of that time or end of the season. But anyway, this is how I set it up. I did click on to have the same ability or have the best ability or ability for a team in this division of yeah uh, CD Guadalajara's level, but. I did drop, I, I put goalkeepers and fitness on one because I feel goalkeeper coaches and fitness coaches are going to do that. So I thought that's where I can increase other things like mental, tactical and working with youngsters and, and some that I could look like that could develop over time. I keep that in mind as well. A player knowledge and youngster knowledge, I generally like to keep that lower. Well, obviously I want it to be higher, but again, at this level, uh, for this level of manager, I want it to be realistic. But anyway, that's why we have coaches. They can leave their thoughts on the players and I can judge off their attributes anyway. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And adaptability, when I have in mind that I'm not going to go into like another division or even like ideally I want to be this team until uh, we get up to La Liga and challenging with Real Madrid and Barcelona like I don't intend to be another team in that save so that allows me to drop to uh, one and it still can develop over time but lets me yeah put yeah higher attributes in other areas I know it looks bad adaptability one but I don't intend to go into yeah another division in another country and again guys on picking this club obviously there's so many um, in the Spanish third division here and the fourth tier the, the third division confuses me as well but it's the fourth tier um, as you could see but they really stood out to me with the colors and actually like a previous kit they had just a couple years ago has had like the rainbow on it that's why I have that on the thumbnail as well I really I really like this club without not knowing like much about them previously but yeah starting to know what they're about and I suppose uh, what they believe in and that kind of stuff uh, they're a very a very good club about just how they go about things and uh, they've got a bit of history but they haven't got much success so I just really love um, yeah I really love them so far uh, compared to the other teams <laughs> yeah they just really stood out and I found yeah them to be um, a good team to create a history with because you can see no honors one right there let's change that but now we have got the match preview for our first game. So obviously I played through the whole preseason thing. So as I mentioned at the start of this first episode here, I will be playing a lot more off camera. Big difference to my previous series. I would do like a let's play uh, where I like to play everything like my man United save. This would be getting through a lot and be more about the story. So yeah, we're playing in uh, via Canas. And yeah, please <laughs> don't expect me to say uh, every single name like a team name and player's name uh, everything like that yeah 100% correctly every single time I'll get some wrong because yeah not 100% with the with the Spanish names obviously but hopefully I can learn that that's a cool thing as well I'll learn from doing a series like this uh, from yeah comments people uh, will say like whether it be more knowledge about clubs or how to pronounce them and yeah only positives for me so yeah that's pretty cool but I think we should be uh, winning this one even if it's away from home so we'll just take a bit more a look at them we go general yeah, see, their media prediction is 17th, and our, like, our second, but again, the, the boards is completely different, so, yeah, still, and what, we're going to be playing strikerless, this is my strikerless formation, because I, first, I saw we don't really have any amazing strikers, and a lot of them can play attacking, we, we got a lot of players, so I know the squad is big, that's what I've come to deal with, <laughs> so, yeah, even like Jose Vega there, he's more attacking midfielder, but, yeah, we don't really have a standout striker, to be honest, we got one, and he he's not really that good anyway. So he's listed as a backup player, and he's like our like main striker who's just the striker position. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's no one. No, one, there's this uh, Atans, uh, Galermo Atans. Again, not really sure on his name, but uh, yeah, he's not really anything special as well. So I thought yeah, we should get the best out of what we do have, and that's our midfielders and playing that way with a Spanish team as well. Especially, I'm not sure if I'll play this going forward. Like when we're better, when we go up the divisions. We'll have to say obviously yeah, you can see the red squares there, but yeah, that's obviously just because we're not playing a striker. Let's see how we go with the strikerless formation. I won't worry about, like, I've, I think I did quick pick there so I can get a uh, best idea of the players. And you can just select the arrow there and you can see 
the best players for for the position. So I think I did that, but I'm still going to learn because that's a crazy amount of players actually that's not going to be in the match squad. But anyway, we're going to learn that as we go on, uh, both you and me. So let's get into our first match right now. Let's see how we go with a strikerless formation. And if we do take a look at our opponents today, they're playing that defensive 4-1-4-1. Uh, so maybe we'll go a bit more attacking as the game goes on. We're just uh, going to see how it plays out. And obviously, a lot of the faces, yeah, the, we're in the lower leagues of Spain here. So, uh, yeah, there's not going to be much player faces. Like some of them, there are. I'm happy with the amount in our team. And this is our, this is our star, Nico Schaefer here. I think that's how you say his name. He's 26 years old, so in his prime of his career. And yeah, absolute superstar for this level. <laughs> like, look at those attributes. Oof, he's he's going to be dominant for us. Can imagine, yeah, picking up a lot of assists. And Estray is uh, very good as well, uh, but doesn't have as really powerful technicals but his technique yeah clearly his strongest one there he's got a bit of flair about him as well uh, he's going to be a main creator for us but let's get into the de dressing room right now and we're going to say passionately we're favorites for a reason go out there oh not sure about that. i want to go assertively i think but yeah, I think I will say that. I like to go with the assertive second option. We're favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure why they're left in no doubt as to why. So yeah, no negatives there. But also I want to make sure I select all the players. And then we'll talk to them and say passionately and I have faith in you. So yeah, get a bit more happy reactions there. So that is pretty good. A good mix. There's a few of the players reacted positively to the comments. So that's not too bad. We'll end the team talk there and go into kickoff. So let's see how we go. Just got to make sure we set up everything. Uh, yeah, we've got the camera height, but we've got to, we've got to change this a bit. I want to go on sideline. This is how I prefer. Go maximum camera zoom and the lowest camera height there. I'm not sure what you guys play on, uh, but let me know. And then the match speed between highlights, very fast. That's when there's no highlights, obviously. And then increase this one a little bit. Uh, hopefully that will be all right. And then also the replays, replay events is goal action. So that's goals, obviously, but then offsides as well. So I like to add that in. And yeah, let's see how that looks. I think that's all good. And we're going to have the first look at our players. Like I've, I've taken a look at some of the attributes and everything like that. But now we are really going to see, yeah, who's going... This is going to be our first look at the players who's going to impress us. And this is what I want to say, like how Football Manager, obviously because it's a video game. It, they're going to need numbers like ratings to signify how good the players are or how bad they are as well at the same time. But if we compare to real life, managers, when they watch players, it's at training and during games. They don't have any numbers. Obviously, they the coaches' reports and everything like that, but they don't have numbers to judge players out of 20. And Guti there, the dangerous strike. But yeah, that's what I mean. So I like to play a lot. That I, I love to judge my players... Oh, training would be nice, but you can't see it physically. I love to judge players off their performances. But it has been a pretty tight match so far. Haven't seen too much. We've got the possession. Uh, that's what we're looking uh, to have. I think we'll try and up things a little bit. We'll go attacking. See, that increases the intensity. So I don't want to be playing that for a whole game. I'd love to take the lead <laughs> without playing attacking. But yeah, we'll try and up that a little bit just to see uh, the difference. And come on, our friendly games, if we wanted to see how our friendlies went as well, we'll just go to home, and not amazing results in the friendlies, and actually we've got one after this game, so yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll play through a bit more, like I said, and see how we go after this, but at least we won the last one we played, so a bit of form, like we played against Leipzig, so <laughs> that, that, that was a challenging game, and hey, we scored a couple times against it, we still lost, but I think it was a decent result. But let's just see before half time. A goal would be sweet. So Astray plays it. Uh, we get it back now after the interception and <laughs> another block there. Gardel. Ooh. I, I like the ideas. I like the ideas. Maybe just lack the technical ability for the execution. But we have still got possession here. Schaefer. He may be <laughs> one of the few that can execute the passes. Lee Jun Ho. He's definitely not Spanish. But. We may work this out. It's it's a good build-up. Oh, that was close. But how this match is going right now is excellent. We've got chances. We've got possession. We just need to make that count. So defensively, for a match away from home, we're doing all right. We just need to take a chance right now, get a lead, and I think this game has been, yeah, been an excellent start. 
Though still, I'm going to say assertively, oh, what's this one? It's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match. Let's go out and do it. That's Yeah, that seems like a really motivating one right there. And I'm not going to say everything else. Just try and get happy reaction. We, we're going to leave it at that. Say what we need to. Players, stay focused. Hopefully, they are focused anyway to get the result here. So here, I've just upped the tempo, gone high, and I think also we'll go route one. Just, uh, we'll be a bit more expressive again, just uh, um, kind of messing, just messing with different options right now, what's going to be the best, and yeah, how we're going to go without, like, playing without a striker. Obviously, right now, you've seen lack of chances. Uh, you might think, oh yeah, we could be better with a striker, but right now, we <laughs> we don't have the quality striker. That's why that yeah, that's why I wanted to try this. I've always wanted to try a formation out like this. But what I'm thinking is maybe get another midfielder, uh, push up like to a central midfield. But we're gonna have to see. Like you see, Basso, yeah, he's natural defensive midfielder. But we're just gonna make those changes there. So again, uh, you can see the possession is all in our favor, as you c would expect playing this style. But and we have had chances, and maybe a free kick is where we could take. Come on. We've got the opportunity. Bravo, come on, we've got to score. We've got to score. Ooh. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm disappointed with. Uh, we haven't been able to take a chance, but we have had them. We have had them. Even without playing the striker, as I mentioned. Come on, lads. So I think maybe some pace down the wing. How's Koke? Okay, he's not too bad. He's not a magnificent player. Uh, as you can see, uh, David Bio, I think. Uh, bio, bio, it says bio, but <laughs> it's like a description, a bio of yourself. Uh, let me know. Uh, anyway, yeah, David will take him off and we'll bring on, uh, bring on Koke. We just, I know you can see he's not as good. Uh, he's better inside forward actually. So we'll try him as that, but yeah, we'll put it on attack. We've got to, yeah, attack on the, <laughs> we've got the attack on there. So yeah, you've just seen we've uh, been creating a few chances. We just need, yeah, we need to finish it we just need to finish our opportunity right there have faith in you but as an away game this has been a great a great away game we feel like the home team how we're playing right now and maybe just a bit of a shout can we just say oh praise because we are playing well i just want to yeah praise the team because we are playing a good game uh we just need that we just need that finishing touch to this one right here and you can see the home team is a bit more frustrated. Well, the players looking nervous. One now, Navio. I think I'm going to take a stray off here, and we're going to bring on Jose Vega and just see what he... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Enganch. I'm thinking for that attacking midfielder, obviously with no striker, Enganch will be a good role to play. So we'll bring him on there. And I'm just thinking, uh, yeah, we won't make right-back chains. He's playing well. Uh, we may... We may make a central midfield change. Guti. Let's see. Uh, he seems pretty good. I'm going to take off Basso off just so we can bring on a center mid. Huertas. Or have you say his name? Let me know. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the pitch and then we'll bring up another central midfielder. That's maybe what we need to play. Let's see his best role. Central midfielder on attack. So that should suit us in this position. Actually, hopefully it will suit us anyway. Uh, so we'll confirm those changes and let's see. Yeah, I'll be content. I'll be content with a a point but it's more so we want to see a goal because i don't want to be a situation like oh maybe this is not enough like playing without a striker but we, we've had chances let's see if we can take it now come on lee jun ho the south korean you've got to score that mate you have got to score that like am i right or am i right that was such a good opportunity because yeah we're gonna like finish this game with zero goals like no goals in this game but that is probably that was our best chance for the game how many uh ccs have we had clicker cccs how many have we had we just had the one and i'm guessing that was that last opportunity if that wasn't a clear cut chance i would no, have no idea what it was but yeah, before that we had some decent chances maybe some half chances as well but wow like when you saw that the, like or to me anyway i saw that going in the back of the net that, to me that had to be a goal but don't forget we're playing in the lower leagues Oh, what that was a! I was happy with the chance. How we constructed that, though, to me, it had to be a goal. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I say we're unlucky tonight. I think we had to go home with at least one goal, and yeah, would have been the points there. But Victor Arribas here, 
he looks very good. He's only 21 years old, so he's going to get better and uh, pretty balanced around his attributes, again, for uh, this kind of level. So I'm happy. You can see the players are motivated. So the only disappointment was we couldn't yeah, find the back of the net uh, to yeah, go home with the three points. Arguably the most important thing. And you can see it says they withstand our barrage. So that tells me that we did play a pretty good game, controlling game. That's what I expected, uh, playing no striker, have dominance in the midfield. And I think that's going to come. Like This is our first competitive game. We've still got another friendly to play. Uh, I've just got the assistant to deal with those. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this first episode. As I said, this is going to be more, this is going to be Road to Glory. This is going to be a story more than anything. This is going to be a Spanish Road to Glory story right here as the series suggests. So hopefully you enjoy it, which does mean though, it is going to be a different style. I just want to reiterate that it's going to be me playing more off camera and I'm really motivated to do this more than ever. Like, to make this a great series, uh, like with the lower league team. It's not going to be named lower league management like yeah, previous times I've done that, as this is a, a different kind of approach to it. So hopefully you'll enjoy it anyway and see the success, hopefully, uh, that we're going to bring and create a new history with this very, very unique team uh, in Club Deportivo uh, Guadalajara. Uh, they really, like I said before, uh, really attracted me to them. They, they, they stood out. Like I said before, they really stood out uh, to me. So hopefully we can make them stand out with the success as well. That will be very crucial. So yeah, make sure you drop a like on the video if you're excited for this series and you want to see more, of course, subscribe uh, if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys next time.